You're a vegan, right? Yeah. Yeah, so am I. Uh, you might want to try the lentil soup. I made it this morning. It's, it's Victor's recipe. Gracias, Victor. He's from the Yucatan. And soups. Yeah, it's very good. Ace, yeah, it's lovely. Hey guys, and welcome back to Binging with Bradbish, where this week we're taking a look at the lentil soup from Moon Knight. Babish asked me to take on this vegan recipe because I now have a plant-based show on the channel called The Soy Boys. It's a story of friendship, food, and my dear friend Christopher's journey towards health. Next month, we're sharing a casserole recipe, talking about comfort food, and our relationship with the things we take solace in. And if you don't think I sound like a self-righteous douche saying that, you might like the show. All right, let's make some lentil soup. Here we have the makings of a sofrito featuring an unfortunately placed carrot that we will move. That's better. Arthur mentions Victor's from the Yucatan Peninsula, and so we're using sofrito as the flavor base for our soup to give it Mexican influence. And to get it started, we're chopping one onion, three Roma tomatoes, one jalapeno, and a carrot, which isn't normally part of sofrito, but lentil soup needs carrots. Next up, we are going to mise the meatiest of fungi, mushrooms. This is going to enhance our soup with some plant-based meaty textures that we will further amplify by seasoning them with a chorizo spice mixture, consisting of one tablespoon ancho chili powder, one and a half teaspoon smoked paprika, three fourths a teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, a half teaspoon dried oregano, a fourth a teaspoon dried thyme, a fourth a teaspoon garlic powder, a fourth a teaspoon black pepper, and the smallest of pinches of allspice and ground cinnamon placed into a comically small bowl. Now it's time to talk lentils. Here you see red lentils on the right and green or brown lentils on the left, or as I like to call them, hazel tolls. Most recipes call for the green or brown variety in soups because they hold their shape better, but I don't particularly like the texture of an al dente lentil. And because this is my house, my kitchen, my world, I'm gonna use red. So into a pan with two tablespoons of oil over medium heat goes a cup and a half of red lentils and we are going to toast them over medium heat until their color intensifies because I, well, a recipe told me to do this one time years ago and I have never questioned it. Once our lentils are looking colorful, we are going to add four cups of no chicken stock, give the mixture a stir and bring to a simmer before covering and setting aside. And if you're not dancing while you're cooking, then you're, you're just cooking. With our lentils simmering, we continue cooking with our sofrito. Here we're sauteing the jalapeno and garlic over medium heat and a little bit of oil before adding the yellow onion and cooking until the edges become translucent. Then we're adding the tomato, carrots, and a spice mixture consisting of cumin, smoked paprika, cinnamon, and kosher salt. We're giving everything a mix and covering over medium low heat to cook for about 15 minutes until everything is looking more jammy. At which point our lentils are done, and as you can see, they have not held their shape. I know it doesn't look great yet, but just bear with me. Now we're going to add the sofrito to the lentils and mix well before starting on our mushrooms. Oh hey, and would you look at that, a surprise guest appearance by my friend and fellow soy boy, Chris. Hey Chris, you, oh, you wanna try some? Okay, yeah, go for it. I mean, it's not really done yet, but if you wanna taste it, oh, oh you're, you're gonna use your finger. Okay, oh, yeah, okay. I'm glad, I'm glad you did that. Let's make some mushrooms. Into the pan from whence our sofrito came, we are going to add a bit of oil, eight ounces of sliced baby bella mushrooms, and our chorizo seasoning, which we will saute over medium heat until the mushrooms are deeply browned, at which point we will add them to the soup, give everything a stir, and serve immediately. And there you have it, folks, a Mexican-inspired red lentil soup that is admittedly closer to porridge than soup, but I do think it is delicious. The texture of the red lentils make this soup almost creamy, and the heat present in the sofrito and chorizo seasoning make this soup even more warm and comforting. But what does Chris think? Yep, those are hand motions of approval, folks. We've done it. But what if we want to make a Mexican-inspired lentil soup with readily apparent lentils in the way the internet tells me is correct? In that case, we're going to need limes, because we are making a sopa de lima. This Yucatan-style lime soup normally uses chicken, but we'll be swapping that out for brown lentils to make it suitable for the likes of Arthur and Stephen, although maybe not all of his personalities. We'll start with a fortified stock. I'm heating one tablespoon of neutral oil over medium-high heat and then adding one canela stick, one teaspoon black peppercorns, two whole cloves, and one eighth teaspoon ground allspice and cooking for 30 seconds or until fragrant, which I will illustrate by moving my hand like this. Once that's smelling good and possessed by heat, we're going to add six cups of not chicken stock, along with one half white onion, one bell pepper, and three garlic cloves before bringing the mixture to a simmer, covering, and moving to the small burner so that we can make some tortilla chips. Just look at these tortillas. They're soft and naive. 
unhardened by life in the frying pan. Let's change that. To do that, I'm cutting these tortillas into strips to lie in wait while I heat precisely the amount of oil I had left in this bottle over medium-high heat until a frying temperature is achieved. If your kitchen is absent a thermometer like mine, you can test that by dropping in a tortilla strip every couple of minutes to see if it bubbles. Just make sure you don't wander off while you're doing this unless you also want to cook your house. Once our test strip is bubbling, we're going to fry the remainder in batches for two to three minutes each or until crisp, transferring to a paper towel-lined plate to cool and seasoning with kosher salt. Now we return to our stock which has simmered successfully for 20 minutes. And we're going to strain this liquid and set it aside while we get another sofrito going. The process for this is the same as our first recipe with the optional step of dirtying an extra pan before you realize there's an empty stock pot right next to you. Once the vegetables have softened, we're going to add one and a half cups of brown lentils, a half teaspoon of Mexican oregano, and four cups of our fortified stock bringing the whole thing to a simmer, covering, and cooking for 25 to 35 minutes or until the lentils reach your desired level of doneness. And if they never seem done enough, maybe you're a red lentil guy too. Jokes aside, after 35 minutes our lentils are done I think, so we're seasoning to taste with salt and pepper. And then finishing this sopa with lima, adding one sliced lime to the pot and letting it stew for one minute. Then we'll remove and discard the pieces and we are ready to serve. To do that, we'll place a bounty of soup in our bowl, line the lentils with limes, place strips strategically center, and sprinkle with cilantro. And here we have our sopa de lima con lentejas. Okay, this is really good. The broth has an incredible depth of flavor, and the lime shines through with a brightness that would make this work really well in warmer weather or climates. And the brown lentils do make it look a lot more like lentil soup, but I'll leave it up to you to decide if that's a good thing.